Drinking coffee is racist. You have to stop drinking coffee right now. An article from the very critically acclaimed website called afru.com has just said how coffee is racist, how drinking coffee perpetuates white supremacy. So this is very important. And the goal of this video, I'm going to read through this article because I'm actually a disabled lesbian woman. So I have the moral high ground here. Created by black people for black people and now is a pillar of white supremacist capitalism. If you consume coffee, you are helping an industry built on racism. If you are a person of color, you know what I'm talking about. You walk into a new coffee shop and your senses are overwhelmed with whiteness. This is an actual article. And you get the glare from the Karens. The white hipster barista lines herself up between you and the bathrooms, ready to tell you non-customers aren't welcome. Actually, I will say this. I don't think that's exactly fair because herself, please, let's not assume genders here. If you have a white coffee drinking friend, he or she may have even let you in on the old coffee joke that white coffee drinkers share when people of color aren't around. There are three things that are necessary in order to make a cup of coffee. They are first, a black black man to roast the coffee, second a yellow man to grind it, and third a white man to drink it. Well I'm here to validate your lived experience. Coffee is in fact horribly racist and there's data to back it up. Every facet of the coffee industry is in fact rooted in racism. From the moment that the whites viciously stole coffee from black and brown people, to the present day Karen sipping her morning cup of white supremacy, whites have been able to drink the fruits of our labour and our culture with impunity. It is a well known fact that whites would be eating bland food like plain bread and gruel if it weren't for their theft of culinary secrets from people of color and especially black folks so obviously we've established that um coffee is racist so what do we do about it i know this is the burning question what next well it's funny you say that because uh afru.com once again delivers with the answers coffee is not the only racist drink on the market milk has also become racist after white supremacists began using the white drink as a symbol of their skin yes racist roots in the coffee industry are certainly much deeper but the whiteness of milk and milk's devastating effects on the beautiful black body makes it almost as bad as coffee for some black people. So if both milk and coffee are racist, what can be done? Many people will insist that combining the two drinks actually cancels out racism because it represents the white becoming pregnant with blackness and creating a delicious brown result. This is a genuine article. I'm not making this up. This is this is actually, I can't even joke around anymore. That is actually being written down on the website. This is why anti-racist folks often take the milk in their coffee, a subconscious purifying ritual. 